the Tesla Cybertruck is weird, and for many reasons, but mainly the design. It looks rugged and kind of retro, but it certainly doesn't look aerodynamic. But bizarrely, it is, being over 60% less draggy than a normal truck, and actually more slippery in a straight line than a Bugatti Chiron, something that is designed for out and out top speed. And this low air resistance is why it can beat most supercars to 60 miles an hour and do over 500 miles on a single charge. So what aero wizardry have Tesla pulled to make this truck so surprisingly slippery? It all starts with this bizarre angular stainless steel body that is night and day different to the smooth rounded shapes on normal trucks. Most pickup trucks use a body on frame construction where the body is mounted onto a separate rigid frame that carries the engine, drivetrain and suspension. And this system is typically used on trucks as it has a very high torsional rigidity, meaning you can get it up on two wheels whilst off-roading without the chassis twisting. However, the combination of a robust steel frame mated to a separate body is very heavy, which blunts performance and handling and impacts fuel economy. As a result, most of today's cars are a unibody design, where the body itself is integral to the chassis. Since the body is designed to be the core load-bearing structure of the car, this solution is much lighter than using a body with a separate heavy steel frame. And the Cybertruck uses a unibody for this very reason, lightness whilst also giving more room. And this decision is down to a challenge that normal trucks just don't face. Where exactly to put the batteries? A chassis on frame design would result in the steel chassis structure occupying the space where the batteries should be low down in the floor. So the unibody design means the batteries can fit into the floor whilst the entire body carries the load, rather than just the frame. This also allows Tesla to use similar systems to protect the batteries that they use in their other cars. This is comprised of a very strong aluminium structure that can withstand enormous impacts whilst retaining its shape. And this is important as things would go wrong very quickly if you were off-roading and a rock punctured a battery. And that would certainly spoil your fishing trip. The unibody of the Cybertruck is unlike anything we have seen before. It's made from an incredibly strong stainless steel alloy specially developed by SpaceX for one of their rockets. This steel is so tough that it can stop bullets from a handgun as well as a hit from a baseball bat. However, this comes with a big drawback when compared to softer steel or aluminium that is normally used to create car body panels. It is so strong that it can't be pressed into shape like the typical steel or aluminium could. Instead, Tesla cut grooves into the steel so that the sheets can be bent to form the shape of the body panels. And this process explains the origami-like shape of the Cybertruck, whilst also explaining why it doesn't have the complex curves that, say, the F-150 has. But what's incredible is that Tesla have managed to make this body shape more aerodynamically efficient than the smoother shape of a typical truck. So how on earth have they done this? For a normal road car, we don't care about downforce to increase cornering ability, so designers focus on reducing drag. And of course, this comes with a mountain of benefits. Things like improving fuel economy or electric range, whilst also improving straight line speed and reducing wind noise. Sports cars tend to suffer from this as they seek to produce some downforce at speed. But while downforce is unnecessary for all but the most serious performance cars, normal cars do have to consider it to an extent. And this is because most cars actually produce lift at high speed. Yep, the shape of the car can actually begin to work like an aeroplane wing. And whilst you won't be taking off at motorway speeds, it can make the car feel unstable. So cars do have to have some element of downforce to reduce this effect. The Audi TT is a good example of this. And this is actually complex enough to have its own video. But simply put, Audi had to add a rear spoiler to stop it from producing too much lift and becoming unstable at speed. The clever design of the Cybertruck allows it to reduce both drag and lift more effectively than any pickup on sale. To go a little bit more technical, the main source of aerodynamic drag, especially in pickup trucks, is airflow separation. For minimum drag, a car should aim for laminar airflow all around the body. Look at a McLaren Speedtail to see how engineers try to keep the air attached over the entire car to reduce drag. Laminar flow means that the air passing over the car travels in a smooth, regular path and causes minimum interference and friction with the body. In contrast, 
Turbulent airflow is irregular in its direction and speed, which creates more friction between the air molecules and the car's body. When smooth laminar airflow arrives at a severe angle, it is unable to follow the shape of the car and flow along the surface. So the flow separates from the body and becomes turbulent. In a normal pickup truck, this mainly occurs here and here. And this is actually where the majority of the drag is produced. And it's for this reason that a race car like the low drag Jaguar E-Type has a much smoother roof line with no hard angles compared with a normal hardtop E-Type. And so the straight lines on the Cybertruck would actually create a lot of drag. However, Tesla managed to avoid this. They managed to keep the angle of the roof just low enough that the air didn't separate. The completely flat sloping design of the bed also gives the air fewer opportunities to separate from the body and become turbulent. But here's the really clever bit. Tesla has designed the front A-pillars to create vortices that are directed over the bed of the truck, which push down the separated air and force it to flow along the body. This design actually decreases the drag coefficient the faster you go, as the speed of the airflow increases and these vortices become more effective in reducing air separation. Not only this, the turbulent wake created at the back of the truck is pushed down and better controlled by the air flowing from the sloping bed, and this effect is also greater at speed. But the turbulence at the rear is also in intentional by design, and part of the reason why the Cybertruck produces so little drag. One of the fascinating aero tricks of the Cybertruck is that the rear of the truck is designed to act as a virtual long tail at speed. So going back to the McLaren speed tail, this car uses this effect really well, all in the name of minimal drag to achieve higher top speeds. The shape encourages really smooth airflow that doesn't separate, keeping the pressure difference between the air at the front of the car and the rear of the car small. Now this isn't something you could just bolt on to a pickup truck. You need access to the rear bed as well as being able to drive over things. So Tesla did something really clever with the airflow. They managed to create a tapered speed tail shape but with the air. So they were able to keep the practical shape of the truck whilst minimizing drag. At speed, the smooth airflow along the sloping load bay of the Cybertruck is able to continue in the same direction even after it reaches the abrupt cutoff at the rear, as if the body were extended and continued to taper downwards. But the aero at the front is just as impressive, where the Cybertruck creates an artificial splitter at speed to reduce lift. The front of the truck has been designed to deflect air to either side of the front wheels, because the turbulent air from the spin wheels disrupts airflow further down the car and causes drag. However, while the nose may look blunt and featureless, it's been designed so that an area of low speed, high pressure air forms at the front of the truck at speed. This area of high pressure combined with the fast flowing low pressure air underneath the truck has the effect of reducing lift by sucking the front of the truck downwards. And what's cool is that this effect increases as the speed increases, so the downforce is greatest when it's needed most. But that's not all. The Cybertruck has active self-leveling suspension and the ride height can be changed to suit the driving conditions. For better ground clearance, the truck can be raised, but it can also be lowered to improve cornering ability. In its lowest setting, the Cybertruck minimizes the amount of air traveling underneath the body, which also has the effect of reducing lift as well as minimizing the drag on the truck. And all of this work was so that Tesla could create a truck that had the strongest possible chassis but without compromise. The Cybertruck could also be an ideal candidate for the upcoming airless tires that are in development. However, whilst they promise to work similarly to pneumatic tires, we think they still have a long way to go. We made an entire video about that, so click here to watch it. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to the Driven Media channel and I'll catch you in the next video.